Hi, good evening, everyone. Oh, first of all, um, I just want to say how awesome this is to be back here, um, to be able to be in front of so many of my former teammates and my coaches and people I've looked up to, and to be back working here and thinking, how am I ever going to get back to this place? And to be honored here is an incredible feeling. I remember two years ago when my former teammates, Danielle Slayton and Allie Wagner, and my former teammate and coach, Brandy Chastain, were um, inducted in the Hall of Fame. And I remember sitting there just going, oh my God, they were my role models. I dreamt of going here. I got to play with them. We won a national championship. And two years later, this is happening to me. And now they're here supporting me. So it's crazy how life works. But I can't tell you how exciting this is. This is honestly a dream come true. Um, I want to thank everybody um, that helped vote for us. Um, I want to thank all of the other um, inductees as well um, and congratulate you guys on an incredible accomplishment. And thank for everyone in this room that helped me get to um, where I'm at today. There are so many people in this room and that are not here that helped me on my journey here and I am incredibly thankful for them. I wish I could thank everybody but I can't. But I just want to start off and say um, thank my family, my parents. Um, I'm from Wisconsin. I didn't know, I had no idea that I would get a college scholarship and play professionally and play for the U.S. national team. My parents had just instilled hard work and a positive attitude and work ethic in me, and I played all sorts of sports. And my parents made me choose a sport when I was 14 years old because they couldn't continue driving me to five different practices. And I chose soccer, and I still get to this day that I should have chose tennis because apparently they think I was better at tennis. But I think it worked out okay. Um, but my parents had no idea. I didn't have any idea of where this would lead. And I'm incredibly thankful for them. I'm, I know Randy just talked about foundation. I am so thankful. I grew up in the Midwest, and mom and dad, what you guys did for me, um, my hard work and my work ethic and just all the qualities that I felt like um, you guys instilled in me, uh, they truly helped me get to where I'm at. I came in as a freshman here, and Jerry Smith, at the end of my freshman year, said, Leslie, one day if you want to play on the U.S. national team, you can, you can play on that team. He helped me grow into um, not only a great player, but he helped me be a better person and a better leader, not just on the soccer field, but in life. Um, and I tell him this all the time, but I'm forever grateful for that. Um, coming out here to Santa Clara, uh, my recruiting trip, I told Jerry and Brandy in the car after they picked me up, we went to breakfast at, I think it was uh, not Bill's Cafe, it was Cozy's at the time. Some of you remember that. I turned around and I said, okay, I want to come here. And <laughs> Jerry kind of laughed like, we haven't really offered you a scholarship or anything, you know. But it was in within a couple hours around campus, meeting the team, meeting all the coaches, meeting the former athletic director and the former president here when I had an interview with them, I knew. I knew this was going to be my home. My parents kind of wanted me to go to Notre Dame because it was close to Wisconsin, um, but they gave that choice to me, and I knew right away. I didn't take another visit. Uh, Santa Clara was it. Best decision of my life. Um, I am so passionate about this place. It changed my perspective. I was immediately taken in from everybody. I feel like I have a family. Um, this place inspired me to do big things and great things and be better in every area, not just a soccer player. Um, I had role models like Brandy and Danielle and Allie. I had coaches and mentors that helped me progress in so many ways. I had professors here. Actually, Father Sukup just married my husband and I a couple months ago here at the Mission Church. Um, I had so many people that helped impact and shape who I am. And when I left here to go on and play professionally, I remember telling Jerry, I'm going to come back here. I didn't know how, but I wanted to come back here because I knew this was my home, and I wanted to raise a family here because the people here. And I always felt like whenever I came back, because I came back a lot, I actually volunteered here um, two years when I played professionally out here. I followed Stacy around in the athletic department for a while. I told her, I want to do what you do one day because the impact that all of the athletic directors and admin had and the coaches and people here on campus, the way that it, they affected me and it helped me grow, I wanted to do that to the, to the student athletes. And 
it's cool nine years later after playing professionally and having a crazy professional journey that I am able to be back here. So for me tonight is so special for so many reasons, but I think it's really cool that I'm back here and living here. My husband and I just got married here and we bought our house here and we are having a family here soon. So it's really cool. So I want to thank my mom and dad. That's how that started just for my foundation. I want to thank Jerry and all my coaches, Yamo and Curtis who are not here, but everyone that helped me just be better. Just, it was never good enough. I, it came from me, but it came from my coaches. I could always be better. And anyone that knows me knows I, that's kind of the way I operate. I always feel like I can be better. And helping shape me into not only a great soccer player, but more importantly, help me in being a better leader and just a better person. So thank you, Jerry, Brandy, and all my coaches out there. My teammates, Allie and Danielle, Brandy, um, you guys truly motivated me, and I looked up to you in awe of you. And I'm so lucky to have had you as a freshman in college because I learned so much from you and I was able to hopefully impact the team and all of my professional teams the way that you helped impact me coming in as a freshman, wide-eyed from Wisconsin, coming here. So thank you for, for being who you are and the impact you've made on this program. I also just want to thank my t our, um, Stacy and Renee and everybody in here that I work with on a daily basis. I appreciate um, the opportunity of coming back here and giving back. I'm very blessed and lucky to be back here. Um, so this is, this is an exciting night for me. I think my um, soccer career was long and amazing and um, probably what I imagined it being like. Um, fulfilling in so many ways and traveling around the world and representing my country. Um, but to come back and retire on my own terms and to come back to a place like this where we've settled down and it's really like I left off when I left here for college is, is a pretty amazing feeling. So um, thank you all in this room and, and for everyone that's not here that's helped impact and shape me and, and really get to where I'm at. But I'm incredibly, incredibly thankful for Santa Clara University for um, being our home. And um, yeah, that's it. So thank you. This sport demands so much of you that you just enjoy the people so much and they're lifelong friends. And even though we don't see each other all the time, I can come back with my group right now and, and just take off like we never left off. So it's, it's wonderful. You know, I, I went on to play 12 years in the big leagues, played an all-star game, traveled around, did some really cool things, played with some great players. Um, but in the end, I got to play a game as a job. Well, <laughs> it would get much better than that. And that and it all started from the foundation that started right here at Santa Clara University.